kicking. Well, chickens. Yo, yeah, well, get out of here. Welcome back to Hope Scope. For those of you that have never been to Hope Scope before, I'm pleased to meet you. For the first time, for the last time. Raise your hands if you ever tried to buy Flex leggings but couldn't because they sold out immediately. I got them on the third try. Here's what blew my mind. Nobody tried to copy this design. They broke the internet. They sell like hotcakes. Where are you at, activewear companies? Why are you not jumping on this opportunity? And then, there they were, rising from the depths of my Insta feed. Today I have for you an incredibly detailed, brutally honest, flex legging review and I am also presenting you with a... It's the opposite of a dupe. A high-end alternative to the flex legging. Nukes. Nukes. N-U-X. Please feel free to make me look like a fool in the comments and let me know how to actually say it. Okay, thanks. I wanted to compare these two brands because they have both produced a legging that is seamless knit. They have the interwoven pattern, monochromatic color scheme contouring. Try to say that five times fast. And they are a mid low rise. For you from Gymshark today, I have the flex leggings in the color marine blue and sure sherbet sherbet sorbet. Did anybody else grow up saying sherbet? That pronunciation literally makes no sense with the actual letters that are in the word. Sherbet it is. The flex leggings are priced at $38 USD and I got mine in a size small. I also have two different colors in the nukes. Nooks. Everything sounds wrong! Nooks leggings. These blue ones are the Camden leggings in the color Peacock. These gray ones are the London leggings in the color Heathered Black. I got both of these in a size small. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you do purchase these leggings, they do run small, so I would recommend sizing up. The Peacock ones on the Nooks website are priced at $78, but it's on Amazon for $36. The London leggings are priced on the website at $86. As always, all of the deets and the links will be located in the description for your shopping pleasure. I don't care if you buy them or not. Not associated with either of these brands, but they down there. The last thing before we get started. If you is or if you ain't. Following your girl on Instagram. If you are not, go find Hope Scope Official. Make sure to include the official part in there, or else you'll be following some girl named Hope Scope that just posts pictures of her babies. That's fine. If you're into that kind of thing. This way, you can keep up on my travels and on my outfit deets and on some bomb diggity workout ideas. The Gymshark online description claims that the flex leggings are form hugging and figure flattering, but they are not necessarily figure flattering on everybody. Let me explain. A, they have an elastic waistband. Never in my life have I been a huge fan of elastic waistbands, especially mid-rise elastic waistbands because they cut right into the middle of your hips, muffin tops, midriff flesh. That just sounds gross. Forget that. You get what I'm saying. So then you're torn between bearing the rolls or covering up the cute waistband and phenomenal butt contouring that make the flex legging the flex legging. However, in my opinion, Opinion, it's borderline gimmicky. Everybody, look at my butt. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it! Also, although it accentuates the bum, it also accentuates the hips. And nobody's hips lying in these pants. And for those of us that don't need an accentuation of the butt and hips, it happens anyway. Moving on to the nukes. One of the big differences is they have the seamless waistband rather than an elastic waistband. And the gray ones in particular have this nice color blocked waistband. Waistbands like this are much more forgiving and they give you more of a tapered look from your waist down to your hips. Let's talk about the contouring on these. With these blue ones, you can see the slight angle that comes in on the leg. That little curvature gives the booty a nice pop while still slimming the hips. And the gray ones have this nice little heart shaped contouring on the back, which does the same thing. As far as fabric goes, made in China, made in the US. So I should tell you everything you need to know, but we're gonna dive deep. The flex leggings are made from a nylon polyester elastane material. Polyester is one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest, materials you can use to produce clothing. It's plastic fabric. That being said, it is relatively durable, especially for how thin it is. It's also very breathable and non-absorbent. Fabric tends to be a little bit awkwardly scrunchy bunchy in the crotch area, which causes, not gonna sugarcoat it, camel toe. 
In comparison, the Nuke's legging is made from a nylon spandex material. It's a little bit better quality fabric. It gives you more of that compression feel that the Flex leggings really, really don't, while still allowing movement. They are thick and durable while still being very lightweight. This topic did deserve a category of its own because it's really the most important thing and you're looking for a legging. Do they pass the squat test? The worst thing is when you put on a pair of leggings and they act all innocent at home and then they decide they want to show off all the goods as soon as you are too far away from home to do anything about it. Let's pretend we're shopping for sheets. So, a sheet with a higher thread count is going to be better quality. Kind of the same thing when you're looking for leggings that aren't see-through. I wish that they would put a thread count on leggings, like these leggings have a thread count of seven, just as I suspected. You want a legging that is dense and then the quality or the mixture of fabric allows it to be flexible and breathable on top of that. Are the flex leggings squat proof? More so than the fit leggings. That is because the fit leggings are 80% nylon. Literally falls in the category of sheer fabrics. The flex leggings have more of a mixture of fabric types. They also have the interwoven pattern that helps camouflage any skin that might come a creep. They are very thin though. Like if you hold them up to the light. Hello? Are the Nukes leggings squat proof? Mm, you betcha. Really both of them are, which is good, because the last thing you want is to walk into the gym and have people staring at your little bum like, your pants are see-through, your leggings are sheer. I can see your little bum! If you're one of those people saying flex leggings are one of the most comfortable leggings on the market, you're not wrong. They're very soft, they're very light, and they're very stretchy. All this hype about sizing down in Gymshark though, I don't know about. I'm a small in everything, and I'm a small in Gymshark. If you were to size down, I think you'd be risking them being too tight, not fitting as comfortably. The Nooks leggings are comfortable enough to wear to, during, and from a workout, but I don't know if I could live and hibernate and die in them the way that I can the Flex leggings. They just aren't quite as soft or stretchy. The moral of this story, which is this Hope Scope video, is when the internet is hyped about something, there's probably a similar or better alternative out there, and Hope Scope is here to find it for you. Well, I didn't really plan a clever outro for this video, so I'm gonna just leave when I don't think anyone will notice. Hope Scope out.